Number two, we're gonna go ahead this is for a link pack. More links, more links to that island. We're going for links. We're going for big. We're going big. Limit on them is three. 22 inches to keep. So if you catch uh, you know, three of those outside of your 10 fish, rockfish limit, you're pretty stacked, man. Same fisherman's knot there. What we're going to do though is we're going to put a little teaser up on top, right? Make your dropper loop, boat. Basic dropper loop set up. Spin that about, I don't know, I like about nine times. Come through there. Put that on there like that. Okay, what we're gonna do is stand by. We're missing the sable jig heads. Wait right there, wait right there. Sable jig heads. What was that, Larry? Right here. So we have our sable jig heads right here. What we're gonna do with these is put them right above our rockfish red snapper, baby red snapper, soul jig. Again, those those link cod are predators, so what they do is eat other fish. So best thing to do is have jigs that look like other fish. Little rockfish, little mackerel, little anchovy. Right? Because that's what they eat. You put this little teaser, like it's going in the dark. Can you see that? I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. They're going in the dark. Loose it. There's a big fancy word for that underwater. Uh, not translucent, but lucent nonetheless. And take sure your hook. Big hook again, these rockfish, link cod, they have big mouths, so we use big, big hooks. So, what we're gonna do to uh, prevent tangalization that's a word, tangalization for the deck ends to uh, take apart. We're gonna take that off. We're gonna cut that off there, right? Yeah, use my teeth. Don't show my dentist. Good smile. It's okay. Use my uh, meat eaters. Anyway, so what we do is we're gonna tie that directly to the line to prevent it from uh, getting tangled up inside of the line, inside the dropper loop. So, same fisherman's knot, good old trusty. Come back through over the top, put that in there. So once that's there, you can either put a plastic on there, a whole squid, a strip of squid. We're gonna put a plastic on there. On top of your jig. Fish and Wildlife California says you're gonna have a two hook setup. So this is one hook here, this is one hook there. Now these are made out of acrylic, so they're not made out of lead. The difference is when you put something on like a, a plastic, it's gonna come down, it's gonna flutter down, it doesn't just sink down. So that you got these underwater fighting each other in between the current. Next thing you know, you come up with a big old ball of mess. No fish. Now, when you're out of the fishing, you come up with two links at the same time. Basically, your limit's done. You're getting it done with the right equipment, the right gear. Big game fishing out here. Set up. This is probably, uh, I think, a 30 pound test that we got. Uh oh, it ain't working. So, what we're going to do, take it like this, wrap it around one time there for now. Get this out of the way. Right gear for the right job. Big link cod fishing. Basic 30, 40 pound setup. Same thing works for sea bass, yellowtail. But out here in our area, Channel Islands area, we catch all that stuff. So this, this setup right here will get you ready to go and be able to catch everything with this rod. Again, fish is everything. 30, 40 pound test. Yellowtail, sea bass, lean cod, jig fishing. Everything we have in our own back, backyard in the Channel Islands region, Central Coast, Southern California. Ready to go. Who's using it? Larry, Cousin Larry. It's only fitting that uh, Cousin Larry gets to use another cousin's rod. Set it up. So when you come out here with the real anglers, we bring toys, we bring rods. Then you try everything, it's like being little kids at Chuck E. Cheese. You like tokens, you're running wild all over the place, having the time of your life, playing with stuff, catching stuff, taking pictures, having, having a beverage. What else can you ask for? It's fishing, 
It's easy. Anybody can do it. Let's go.